The new original tripod design for Raf's War of the Worlds game has been fully revealed in all of its glory on the official YouTube channel for the game, and my god is it not a sight to behold. But what does this mean for the movie accurate 2005 model? I'm going to hopefully quickly answer that in this video and why this is needed to be done. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, I hope you've all been doing well. If you're new here, I mostly make War of the Worlds videos, so if you're into the various adaptations of the H.G. Wells novel, then I recommend you stick around, because there's always more videos coming down the pipeline. So, we've been teased with screenshots for months, and some of us have known for a long time that there was a new tripod design coming to Flip Switch's War of the Worlds game. Although many viewers here will already know the reasons why this has happened, it's actually kind of a long story, so let's go back to the beginning so you can understand the full picture. Until late last year, the tripod design being used was a fairly close design to the Spielberg movie, but it had subtle differences in order to avoid getting potential trouble with Paramount Studios. But towards Christmas 2022, Raff, the lead developer for the project, decided he was going to make a 100% movie accurate tripod, despite not being able to get Paramount's blessing to use a design, though not for lack of trying. This created somewhat of a stir within the community. Some were very pleased that he was pulling out all the stops to make this game as faithful to the film as possible, whereas others, like myself, were a bit more concerned about the possible legal repercussions for doing this. Thankfully, Raff and his team make a lot of changes based entirely on community feedback and he listened to the concerns of the masses and enlisted the help of LDBH, or LDBH, I'm not entirely sure how you say it, who immediately began working on a completely original design of the tripods to use initially as a backup. This was in case the game caught the attention of Paramount and he could quickly switch between the 2005 model and his original. The original design had many reworks done and a lot of feedback from Patreon members and finally has entered its final form. However, in the meantime, the 2005 model has been continuously tweaked and whilst it looks spectacular, it is now 100% accurate to the movie and that obviously poses a risk of the game being shut down if Paramount decided to take legal action. Before I go any further, I would like to quickly clarify that Paramount Studios doesn't own the rights to The War of the Worlds. Because of how long ago the original book was written, the intellectual property for this story is now in the public domain, meaning that anybody can make a movie, TV show or game based on it. You could make a War of the Worlds game tomorrow if you wanted to and no one could stop you. However, Paramount Studios does own the rights to the design of the tripods used in the O5 film. So while Paramount can't go after the game for being created, they could go after the game for profiting off their design. This is why, as stated in his latest video showing off the fully finished tripod design, that the original tripod designed by Eld will be used as a default tripod design. Now, obviously there's going to be a large portion of the community that will want to use the O5 model, so before you panic, Raf has decided that the O5 model will be a free mod and or DLC that can be downloaded and then you'll be able to have the option at the click of a button to switch between the designs. What this means is that technically the game has nothing to do with Paramount's design and only the DLC would be an issue, and that could easily be removed without causing the entire game to be taken down. Even then, I'm not entirely sure that could even happen, because technically the game isn't profiting off Paramount's design because the design would be free, meaning that Paramount has less grounds for legal action. Well played, Raf. Well played. Now I know this was a short video but hopefully that cleared up any questions you've had and I hope I've explained this correctly. If I have made any mistakes, please do let me know in the comments so I can address them. If you found this video helpful, a like would be very much appreciated as well as clicking that subscribe button. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time.